Well, hey friends, it's Nancy the Handy Scandy. Welcome back for another crafty venture. Today I've got a little bit of a crafty stash delivery to share with you. And we're going to start off with Simon Says Stamp, several products from them, and then we're going to jump into Honeybee. So here we go. Simon. So I started off with the Crafters Workshop Shimmery Goodness. So let's give that a shot real quick. And um, I also got some more pixie spray. I got two bottles of pixie spray. Y'all know I love me some pixie spray. So I'm about to make a card using this stencil. So I'm going to spray this with the pixie spray and then we'll run some of this over it and we'll just see. We'll just see what that's going to look like. Can you see that shimmery goodness? This is definitely an aptly named product. It's very thin. Let me, let me get a little. A little spatulator. See how thin it is? I mean, it's a paste for sure, but it's definitely more thin. And it would definitely spill if I had held it sideways. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's definitely spillable. So the Crafters Workshop Shimmery Goodness Dries clear and iridescent, adds shimmer to ordinary paint or gel. You need this. I agree. So off screen, I went ahead and did a little bit of ink blending with my Pink Fresh Studio Sapphire ink over this green gel plate pull. And then I put the Shimmery Goodness over that. So you can see that the Shimmery Goodness is kind of tinted with the ink that was left on the stencil. Okay. But yeah, so it does look like it's going to dry clear because that's what it says, dries clear. So we may see more of that blue coming through after it's dry. But yeah, kind of cool, right? Another product you never knew you needed. <laughs> There's that. All right, and then of course, I picked up the salvaged patina, both in the Distress and in the Oxide. I had not used them or received them until now. And then I got the salvaged patina Oxide spray. So I'm kind of curious, I'm not gonna pull them out right now because we know what distress inks and distress oxide inks work like and look like. So, and then the spray, of course. So I'll play with those in the coming days. And then I am just loving, loving, loving my stickles. So I got another, another bottle of the moon dust. So we'll just set that right there, ready to go. <laughs> and look, I got this all to new embossing folder. I am not new to embossing folders, but these 3D ones are amazing. Amazing. Look at that. That is so pretty. There's so much detail. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to ink this up and I'll be right back. Well, let me show you some of my process. Okay, so this is just like, I think it's index index paper like it's 120 pounds but it's not it's not good paper so I'm just going to put some ink on here and you will get a different effect depending on which side you ink now I'm going to lay my paper down in there and you want to make sure you hold it still I'll be right back I'm going to go run it through my my die cut machine, you have to make sure if you're using a die cut machine for something like this, that you pay attention to the sandwich for your particular machine. I have a big shot, but my big shot could even be different than your big shot. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so here we go. I've run it through a couple times. And look at that, that is so pretty. So that's the embossed side. That is the debossed side. So you could use either. Just because I put ink on this side doesn't mean I have to use that side. But it is cool to see that it went in the appropriate places. <laughs> because you want your, your leaves to be um, you want your leaves to be colored green, right? But of course it doesn't matter because on this side the green would have been on the debossed part, on the lower part, but it still would have been gorgeous either way. These are the Miss Your Smile layered stencils from Altenew, or not Altenew, I'm sorry, Pink Fresh Studio, designed by Emily Midget, who is an amazing artist and card maker in her own right. And I've never used layering stencils. So there's the top one, the next one, 
and then the two leaves. So this is going to be fun. Again, I'm not going to ink this up in the video because I want to be respectful of your time, but definitely expect a video to be coming your way soon. It does say stencil one, two, three, and four, and it has little etched spaces there. Let me see if I can put something dark. I don't have anything dark. <laughs> has little etched spots right there so you know where to line your paper up so that each time it goes perfectly. So this is gonna be so much fun. And look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. Love, 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 I'm excited. I do wanna get the stamp set as well. I love some of the sentiments on there. Miss your face, miss your voice, miss your smile. I'm counting the days until I see you again. I can't wait to give you a hug, etc., etc. So yeah, that stamp set will be coming my way one day soon. But for now, I have the stencil and I'm very excited about it. Yeah. And does anyone else love this packaging as much as I do? Now, I have opened it, but I've, you know, I wanted to see it as is. It's adorable. And I do reuse this because if you don't already know, I'm a black and white girl. I love black and white and that contrast and the, the boldness. And I just love it. So anyway, thank you so much, honeybee. You will be seeing this black and white paper on something sometime soon. So it starts with this beautiful thank you card that you can color and cut down and use and make it into cards. And I have before and they're beautiful. So it says a day without a friend is like a pot without a single drop of honey left inside. Winnie the Pooh. And if you've not seen that new set that they have with the, the honey pot and the lid and the little, what's the honey stir thing called? Yeah, it's adorable. So there's that. Sweet, sweet. So these are new to me, but not new to Honeybee, right? This is the house, I believe it's called the house builder. House builder card base. So it has the house itself and the roof and some windows and eaves, some more windows, some shutters, doors, windows, curtains, steps, you name it. I mean, wreaths and leaves and flowers and window boxes and flower pots. It's adorable. And then, because I'm already there in my brain, Halloween, I had to get the Halloween add-on. So you've got the creepy tree, you've got the door, a couple tombstones, some, some slats of wood you can do like this over the windows or the door. Um, another fun window, jack-o'-lanterns, spooky ghosts, bats, a cross. This, I'm not sure what that is. I want to say it's like for brackets, like a corbel. But I don't know. I'll have to look and see. But yeah, the haunted house add-on. I'm so excited about these. So excited. I've never done this kind of thing. And this is a lot of die cutting for me. I don't mind die cutting, but a whole project out of die cuts is a challenge for me. So, but I really wanted this. And to do this, I had to get that. So, but I'm okay with it. So that's my stash, guys. <laughs> What do you think? Do you have a favorite? Something you might like to see used right away? Something that you really don't like and don't care for? And then what do you think about big die cut projects like that house builder card thing? I don't know. I'm nervous about it, but I'm excited about it at the same time. And also, I would love to know what your new crafty stash delivery item is that you're super excited about. What's got you motivated and excited and, and ready to craft? Guys, this is Nancy, the Handy Scandy. As always, I appreciate you, and I look forward to talking to you downstairs in the comments. I'm out.